So most people allow someone or something outside of them to control where their awareness goes. So I'm chatting with you, my phone goes bing, I pick it up, and my awareness gets dragged there. Another notification comes, my awareness goes there. I see a noise out there, I hear a noise out there, my awareness goes over there. Right? So my ability to keep my awareness on you or something for an extended period of time is my ability to concentrate. If you look at most people out there, they are ma you're talking about mastery? They have mastered the art of distraction. These people are to be acknowledged and respected because the dedication and devotion they have given to the art of distraction. But they don't even know that. That's they the don't thing. even know. That's why I, I really harp on understanding the mind first and then learning to concentrate. Because I feel if, if humanity can learn to do this, they can be better, better athletes, better artists, better martial artists, better singers, performers, sports people, engineers, doctors. Because at the center of success is your ability to harness the power of mind and direct it in a single pointed focus towards one thing. Stay with it long enough so that you can come to solutions, create beautiful things. Your whole day needs to be filled with rituals and you need to look at your life the same way an Olympian might look at his or her life where the whole day is filled with rituals. And in the monastery, we meditated as a group for one hour a day. That's all we meditated. People always think that monks meditate all day and they're slowly sweeping the sidewalks. But we don't meditate one hour a day. What are we doing the rest of the day? Gurudeva taught us to practice concentration. Not to practice mindfulness, practice concentration. You become good at whatever it is you practice. Because practice doesn't have the ability to discriminate between what's a positive practice and what a, what's a negative practice. So if you practice something negative all the time, you become really good at it. So if you practice distraction all the time, 10 hours a day, what do you become good after six months? Distraction. Anybody practicing anything for 10 hours a day becomes really good at it. One of my favorite quotes is that we are all self-made, only millionaires and billionaires uh, own it. And so uh, like everyone's like, he's a self-made millionaire, he's a self-made billionaire. It's like that person's a self-made homeless person. That person's a self-made average person, like, but they don't own that. And there's a reason for it. No one says it because the type of person who's going to say that they're self-made is going to have the habits and the outlooks that is going to achieve the things that they want. These are the things that uh, were learned behaviors that I think if I look back on behaviors that have been able, to, that have propelled us forward faster. The first one is waking up at 4 a.m. Um, and it kind of goes hand in hand with the second habits. I'll kind of put these together, which is consistent bedtimes. And that includes weekends. So basically consistent time going to bed and consistent time waking up. And I know that sounds minor, but a lot of times and for a long period of my life, I would wake up early five days a week. And then on weekends, I would sleep in and I go to bed late because I was like, I'm living on the weekends and during the week I'm working. And I did that for a long period of time. But the thing is, is like your body doesn't work that way. I think there's the consistency in the most basic way is literally going to bed at the same time weekend and weekday and waking up at the same time week and and weekday. I know this sounds really minor, but like, especially that 4 a.m. wake up time, like us as entrepreneurs, like we're, I think we're a little bit more reactive than most people are from an emotional standpoint. Uh, like, I think we're also a little bit more scattered by nature. Um, I don't like to speak that over myself, but I think that that's like our intrinsic programming and that we can work away from that. That's why I control, I talk so much about controlling your space, controlling your attention is that like, we're so much more prone to reactivity, um, which is also why we want to solve problems faster because we're more uncomfortable than any, everyone else is, which is why we naturally move towards problem solving, right? And so waking up at 4 a.m. allows me to get all of my self-work done in the morning and still have two, three, four, five, sometimes dedicated hours to moving the big dominoes forward, the big projects that are going to make massive impact in the business and are working on the business, not in it. Basically, once I hit, you know, 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., I would love to tell you that, like, Oh, I have, I have four hours of CEO time in the middle of the day that everyone knows that I can't be reached. The problem is that like, you know, if you have a lawyer call come in because we have some, you know, thing or whatever, like I'm going to take the call. If we have a personnel issue where someone's like going nuts, you know what I mean? Like I'm going to take the call. And so like, it's, it, it sure would sound nice to say like, yeah, I mean, we're so disciplined at gym lunch that Alex never gets, you know, brought in anything. And to be fair, the team is awesome. And like, I really don't get brought into a lot of stuff, but the thing is, it's like my attention still gets pulled during the day. Um, once everyone else is kind of up, 
but from like four o'clock to nine o'clock is like my time. And that's where I really move like all of these big projects forward. And that's why like, we're like, how do you get so much done so fast? It's like, I just think most people don't get very much done during their days at all um, because they're working in their business, not on it. And so we just move, we just are able to do a lot of things on the business, which then accelerates the entire growth of the business. Cause these are like, like the, the bricks that you lay on the business are the ones that accelerate growth. The things you do in the business is kind of like one is investment, one is, um, one is spending cash. You know what I mean? Like an expense of time is how you're running your business and investment of time is what's going to move the entire business forward. And so it's like, are you, are you putting investment time in? And so for me, 4 a.m. to like nine is like that time period. Get your bio clock like regular. Like you show up as a leader better, you have more energy, you have more focus. People are like, you get so much stuff done. It's like, cause I'm not fucking exhausted all the time. But I like, <laughs> excuse me, like I'm just not tired. You know what I mean? And so I can like work and get things done that are productive and effective uses of time because I'm just not exhausted. And so like, imagine if you like felt good all the time, like you can do that. It just comes from consistently going to bed at the same time. The next one is, this is a little bit different. This is something that Layla has told me has been like one of the things that she observed early on in our relationship before she like knew me as her husband, but like just a guy that she thought was doing things. I think, and this man, it sounds kind of weird saying it, but like this was her observation that she thought I should bring up in this was that like genuinely trying to give to other people in your network without expectation. I've always been voted like into like president and leadership positions and like every organization. Like when I was in high school, I was president of the newspaper and president of the um, literary magazine. Uh, when I went to college, I was president, uh, you know, VP of the powerlifting team and president of the, uh, of the fraternity I was in. Like, it's just like, you know what I mean? Like it continues on. And the thing is, it's like, most people think about leadership is that like, I have to be the big boss man. It doesn't work that way. For those who've ever studied it, it's like the people who get voted into power are the people that, that, uh, like, <laughs> it's funny. People always think like the president of the fraternity is the one that's like the biggest rager, but the person that they want to vote into prison is the one who's going to take the punch ball away to make sure that like when the party's getting going to make sure that like we don't get arrested and like you know like things happen the way they're supposed to and it's and it, and it comes from a place of servant ser like serving it's literally just giving without expectation um and that comes to clients and a lot of times it, like i would say some of the, the highest roi um givings that i've done have been to people in my network where they're like hey man do you know anything about this and then I will go the extra mile to um, connect them with not one person, but like four people do some initial screening myself and say, Hey man, like, this is what I saw. This is what it looks like. Here's two people that I think might be able to help you. And then this is my experience with it. And they're like, Holy shit. Like, thank you. That's like awesome. And then what happens is like, you actually form a much better relationship because they're like, wow, this person like really cared. Right. And then also in the future, if I say like, Hey man, do you know anything about this? Then they return the favor. Right. And so, um, Layla jokes about, she's like, you have so many favors that you like have uncalled upon, like so many IOUs. She's like, I feel like whenever we need something like you, like you have three people you can call who immediately jump to help you. And the only reason that happens is because I jumped to help them with nothing like, ex like expecting nothing back, but just because I know that like long-term they may have something or know someone who, and it's not because of that. It's just like, and that's why it's like sort of a nature nurture, you know, whatever. But I can tell you, like, if you can help people, you will get more back and your reputation will also follow from that.